let us delve into the intricacies of chord presentation abnormalities. Vasa previa is a condition characterized by the presence of umbilical vessels that are unsupported by the umbilical cord or the placenta. These vessels traverse the fetal membranes in their lower uterine segment or extend onto the internal cervical opening. The rupture of these vessels during labor because of spontaneous or artificial rupture of membranes poses a significant risk of fetal demise. Risk factors for vasa previa include low-lying placenta, resolving placenta previa, velamentous cord insertion, pregnancies resulting from in vitro fertilization, bilobe placenta, and succinctuate placental lobe. In such cases, physicians should conduct a thorough examination to rule out vasa previa. However, approximately 11% of cases of vasa previa lack identifiable risk factors. On ultrasound examination, vasa previa manifests as hypoechoic tubular structures that traverse or lie within 2 cm of the internal cervical os. Spectral Doppler imaging provides insights into the type of blood flow within these structures. These are thin hypoechoic tubular structures overlying the internal cervical os with hyperechoic walls. Color Doppler examination confirms the presence of blood vessels within these structures. Transvaginal scanning serves as a complementary tool to transabdominal scanning as some vessels may be challenging to visualize. The location and distance of the vessels from the internal cervical loss should be meticulously evaluated on transvaginal scan. Utilizing both transabdominal and transvaginal scanning techniques enables the visualization of these structures from various angles, thereby enhancing the accuracy of detection. In the image shown on your right side, the transvaginal scan reveals small tubular structures overlying the internal cervical os. In the left side image, color Doppler examination confirms the presence of fetal blood vessels within these structures. The differential diagnosis for vasa previa encompasses umbilical cord presentation. These two conditions can be distinguished by altering the mother's position during ultrasound examination. In vasa previa, unlike in cord presentation, the location of the cord segment remains unchanged regardless of mother's position. An important point to remember in vasa previa is that it causes fetal hemorrhage and not maternal hemorrhage. If not treated, it can lead to acute fetal exsanguination culminating in fetal death.